everybody and welcome to the third video in my coding tutorial series. Before we get started, I just want to shout out EdTech Academy for making quarantine and code shirts, which I got. And I'll put the link below so that you can get one as well and support them. Um, so today we're going to be talking about CSS and we've done HTML. You have a basic website happening right now. And today we're going to work on making it look better. So let's get started. All right, everybody, we got our project open in PyCharm from our last um, videos. And today we are going to learn one, what is CSS? Two, how to add color to our websites in text and in the background. And also we're going to learn about adding borders. And then of course we'll cover other CSS topics in the upcoming videos. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is CSS? CSS stands for cascading style sheets. And it was created to kind of take out um, the styling in HTML, because as I showed you in the last video, you can add style like here um, in line in HTML. But as you can imagine, if you were trying to add style to the whole HTML page, that it would just be so long of a document. So CSS is a separate file that you can create and then link it to HTML to kind of keep things separate. So like HTML, this is the basics of my website, what I want displayed on my website, and then the CSS document is how I want it to look. And then you just link them together to bring it together. So to do that in PyCharm, what we want to do is where we have our index.html file, we just want to make a new file And here in PyCharm, it already has it here. So we're going to click Style Sheet and we'll just call it Style and hit Enter. And so now I have a blank file where I'm going to type my CSS. So before I type my CSS in this file, I want to link it to my HTML file so that it knows, okay, what am I trying to style? Well, I want you to style this document right here, this file right here. So what we have to do is we go to the head section of our HTML page, and then we have to add a link to the CSS page. And we do that by writing link rel it's going to say style sheet and then i'm going to put the type and the type is text css and then i'm going to put the href which you remember from our first video and i wanted to reference style.css and then i close it okay so this here is linking my HTML file to my CSS file. And so now they are linked together. So I'm in my, let me save that. So now I'm in my style.css file. And the syntax for CSS is a little bit different than for um, HTML. So what we have to do first is start with our selector. And a selector is just the same thing we put here. So for example, if I wanna add style to my title, the H1, for here, I would just put the selector H1. Then I'm gonna put curly brackets. I'm gonna hit enter just to kind of keep it clean. And then say I want to change the color. So to change the color, I just put color. And there's different types of color inputs that you can do. So you can do like, you can do a valid color name. So like I could choose red, blue, green, orange, and then PyCharm has these already listed. You can also see next to it, it has the hex color. And you can also type a hex color. And then you can also use an RGB color. So there's three different ways that you can input colors. And so I will just choose dark magenta. Then I'm gonna save and refresh. And as you can see, 
now my title is a totally different color right here awesome um, so a, if I wanted my second tag h2 to be a different color I would put h2 color and let's do a hex color and a cool website that you can do for hex colors is HTML color codes. I really like this website. And so you can choose any color, literally anything, doesn't matter. And then copy the hex code. You can also copy the RGB code, whichever one you wanna use, but I'm gonna copy the hex code. I'm gonna come paste it here, save refresh and now you see my second line is a different color another cool thing is if i wanted my title here to be in the center of my page i would go back up to h1 hit enter so i'm on a new line and i'm going to do text align and there's a bunch of different options but i'm going to choose center save and refresh over here and now this line is in the center of my page this is my first website okay, so say now i wanted to add a border around my title so i would go up here to h1 i would put border style i'm gonna say dashed then i'm gonna say border width two pixels and then border color, black, spell black, right? All right, so I'm gonna save it, refresh, and as you can see, it put a border around my title. Now, instead of writing border style, border width, border color, you can do shorthand for border, and so then I'll show you with H2. I could just type border and then I can put, I want it to be five pixels. I want it to be solid and I want it to be red. And so if I save and refresh, then you can see this is a short way, a shorthand to do it instead of typing border stop, border with border color. Um, and then it makes here a border around my second title all right so now what if i wanted to make the whole background of my page a different color so i can go back up here and start a new line and put body and i could say i want the background color to be let's see quick alice blue so then i save refresh and as you can see it added a color to the whole background of my page all right so we have added a background color we've added borders we've aligned our text um, we've changed the text color and so i'm going to put a link to a website so that you can continue practicing adding styles to your website and then please subscribe to my channel so that you can see upcoming videos that we are going to do on css and then eventually javascript